Welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. Our house kiss of the day is Devin Veering. What up, Devin? Thanks so much for your support. We really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guests today, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Yo, we start a new notebook today. That other one is full. This is an exciting day. All right, so yesterday, Ika and Dre were chatting in the pink room, and they're kind of wondering, like, is Kevin secretly okay with Bruno leaving this week? Because... Aika was like talking to him and she was like, oh, maybe we could do this or whatever to keep Bruno. And Kevin was just like, nah. <laughs> Kevin definitely has backed off a bit in his campaigning. He even told Bruno, like, he doesn't want to push too hard. And Bruno agreed with him because he doesn't want to screw himself over. It's not looking good for Bruno at this point. So anyway, uh, Aika and Dre are figuring like, it's really going to shrink the target on Kevin's back if Bruno leaves. And then Ika and Dimitri's will be the big targets. Big targets on campus. And Ika, she doesn't even realize that Dre has been conspiring hardcore against her this week. Um, but Ika's like, oh yeah, Kevin doesn't even know that we have Jackie. Um, do you really have Jackie though? I don't know. Dre has been working on her a lot. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But... They both feel like, oh, yeah, Jackie's cursed, but, like, she really does mean well. Uh, she's been honest, but she's flip-flopped a lot. Like, she's been honest, but she's just really quick to spill everybody's tea. Uh, and she just wants friends. So they've been kind of, both of them have been talking to Jackie a lot more lately. I guess they realize they freaking need her, too. So then William and Kevin were out in the hot tub. I swear. Freaking William, Kevin, and Bruno. Excuse me. I need to get that out. They were in the hot tub like all day yesterday. Maybe not all day, but for like a really long time. I don't know how their organs weren't like boiled. It was crazy. So anyway, there was uh, a little while while Kevin and William were alone. And William says that Ika approached him about a group of five working together with the two of them. Uh, Dre, Ika, and Dimitri. So Kevin's like, yeah, she mentioned that to me too, and I'm totally on board. Like, let's do it. Kevin is ready to jump on anything right now. Uh, and their targets would be Karen, Jackie, and Dylan. The only other people left. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Kevin's all like, oh, William, now that Bruno's going, you're my new number one. So on the outside, William's like, yeah, okay. And on the inside, William's like, I love you. I honestly love you. <laughs> Seriously though, you know William is like over the moon right now. So anyway, then they were talking about their potential targets. They're like, should we go for this deal to work with Ika and Dimitri's or what? William's like, do you think it's too early to go after Ika? <sighs> Helen, is that you? <laughs> There's only three weeks left. Uh, when are you going to go after her? Are you serious? So they feel like they can trust Ika and Dimitri's for now. And they, they decided on like the next two weeks. <laughs> There's only three weeks left! <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, they spent way too much time in the hot tub. I think they must have gone underwater. I don't know. So anyway, Kevin and Bruno, they have their own quick hot tub check-in uh, where they were alone. And Bruno is like, you know what? I haven't really campaigned to Dimitri's and Ika since I proposed that Final Four deal to them. I don't want to push it too hard. And Kevin's like, yeah, I don't know if I should really push that either because he's not sure that Ike is going to believe that considering how close Kevin is to William. Like, is Ike really going to believe that Kevin's going to cut off William for them? I'm unrolling. So then Bruno says his other campaigning point was really just like how freaking safe Dre is right now. She's in the best spot out of everybody. And uh, I don't know. I, I really think that Ike has these like blinders on when it comes to Dre. Dre is her kryptonite. She's not, she's, she doesn't see it coming. But anyway, Karen comes outside. Freaking Karen, Kevin, and Bruno have the weirdest ass relationship, and I love it. I love it. So they uh, spent a really long time, like, dissecting the season, going through everything, talking about the moves everybody made, blah, blah, blah. Bruno's been doing that a lot this week. I think it's kind of like his goodbye tour. <laughs> That's so sad. Um, they also discussed the drama from Monday after Karen was put up as the replacement nominee. So, like, we talked about this the other day. There was that huge confrontation between Karen, 
and Kevin. I mean, it was really just Karen attacking Kevin. But she tried to play it off like it was, like, a generational thing. And she was saying, like, you are thinking that it was a personal attack. She doesn't see it that way. She said, you know, people from her generation, an insult's an insult. So, like, in her mind, or at least defending it right now, she's saying if you call someone stupid, that's like the same thing as saying, I want that person out of this game. <laughs> Karen, I'm sorry, but no. So Bruno is like, yeah, yeah, I get it. Sure, Bruno's been doing a lot of yesing lately with Karen. I, He's having a lot of fun with it. But anyway, Karen is like, I was freaking fired up on Monday. I am not apologizing because I meant what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So anyway, moving on. Ika, Dre, and Jackie were chatting, and Ika tells Jackie that William said that Jackie was talking about, like, some sort of secret power coming into play before the secret POV was used. So he's, like, implying here that it could be Jackie who used the secret POV. Now, of course, we know that William is trying to deflect because... He used a secret POV. Um, but that combo did actually happen between Jackie and William. I think it might have even been the morning of the POV ceremony. I can't remember now if it was the day of or the day before. But it happened. And Jackie was like, oh, there might be a secret power coming into play soon. And William was all like, oh, what? That's crazy. So then, <laughs> uh, Jackie's pissed. Because she's like, why is William spreading these lies about me? Maybe because he was the one that used the power. But she doesn't get there. She's like, oh, I think that Kevin had the secret POV. All right, so there's definitely some tension now between Jackie and William. They're kind of like being pitted against each other. So Dre lets William know that Ika told Jackie what he said about her. And then William goes and tells Kevin about this. And they're realizing this is not good that Ika shared what William said with Jackie because... She's supposed to be working with them. Why is she, you know, sharing this information with Jackie, who's supposed to be one of their targets? Mm-hmm. All right. So then, Ika, Dimitris, and Dre were in the kitchen, and Ika lets Dre know if she wins HOH next week, she's still targeting Kevin. She said he's a really great competitor. He's great at mental and physical challenges. He's really good at lying. She can't trust him. So even though she's saying that they're going to have this deal, mm -mm, she's going after him. And guess what? She wants to put up Kevin with William because she doesn't want to give William the chance to use the power veto on Kevin. You know, the only way she can prevent that is if they're up on the block against each other. So Dre is just like taking this in. She's like, okay, okay. Little does I can know again. Dre is freaking plotting for her to go. Okay, so Demica, Dre, and Dylan all meet up at the bear cave outside. That's still happening. And, uh, you know, they have like their group of four that is supposedly working together. Um, but Dylan asks, like, what's going on? What are people saying? So, did Micah say, like, oh, um, Bruno's still campaigning, but, like, he's going home. And then they say that Kevin has been telling them that Dylan is throwing their names out there to go next. And Dylan's just like, Psh, don't believe that. Like, you can't believe Kevin. He's a freaking liar. Dylan has been throwing their names out there. <laughs> um, but they're like, yeah, Kevin is such a liar. Like, we see right through that. Do you know? <laughs> so then, I mean, this conversation went on for a while, and Ika and Dimitris just kept pushing that Kevin is really slimy, and then he has to go next. So they're definitely trying to get Dylan to go after Kevin. All right, so then Dre and Dylan were chatting alone in the storage room, talking about their conversation with Demica, and Dre's like, I'm going to be real with you right now. I don't think Kevin said half the things that Ika and Demetrius are claiming he said. They're just trying to get you to target Kevin if you win HOH because they know that they're big targets themselves. You know, they're trying to use him as a meat shield. They're trying to make sure that they're not on your radar right now. So she says that Ika actually came to her before this and told her that they have to get 
Dylan to go against Kevin. She's going to, like, tell him all these things so that it'll happen. So she's like, I don't want you to get fooled by them. And Dylan's just like, what the F's going on? Are you playing me? And Dre's like, no, I promise you. So then Dre is like, you know what, though? We got to go after those fools. And she says, like, she probably wouldn't be able to put them up herself because it would, like, hurt too much. But you can do it. So then Dylan's like, what the hell? Like, why is it up to me? So Dre's like, I don't know. Maybe I could do it. She's not going to do it. Um, that would be a huge move if Dre actually did win HOH and do that. But I don't know if I see her going against Psycho like that. Excuse me. So then <laughs> she's, ah, so many problems today. She says, yeah, Kevin is dangerous. But she's seeing more and more how Dimitri's and Ika operate and how convincing Ika can be. She claims that when they were over by the bear cave, Ika was saying that like Dre was a part of all these conversations with Kevin and then Dre's like, wait a second, I wasn't even there, but she had me convinced that I was. <laughs> so Dylan's like, all right, we'll sleep on it. We'll see how we feel. So today, Dre and Jackie were plotting in the kitchen. Like I said earlier, Dre has been getting a lot closer to Jackie because she knows that she needs her. So Dre lets her know that Demica is trying to get Dylan to target Kevin, and Jackie's like, yeah, they also told me that Kevin's coming after me. So they realize, like, it's a tactic to keep Demica safe. Yeah, duh. So then Dre, um, all throughout the day has been convincing Jackie, like, we need to target Ike and Dimitri's. They're a power duo. They're unstoppable. We gotta take them out. And it seems like it's kind of working on Jackie. Uh, so Dre's saying we gotta put them up together so that they can't use the veto on each other. Makes sense. Alright, so then, this is so funny, oh my god. Karen <laughs> was talking to Ika in the pink bedroom, and Karen still thinks that she's going home, but she's changed her tune a little bit now. She feels like, okay, I do have the votes to stay, but she thinks that there is another secret power of veto that will come into play and Bruno will be saved on Thursday night, and she will be sent to the jury. <laughs> oh my god, Karen! <laughs> so then she's like, when I'm right, I expect the same apology that I deserved when I was right about the first POV. Oh my god. I can't wait to see Karen's face when she stays on Thursday. <laughs> so ridiculous. So anyway... Bruno and Kevin were talking. They were laughing about that a little bit because Karen's been telling everybody, like, I think there's another POV that's going to come into play. So they thought that was pretty funny. But Bruno knows he's going at this point. He's got pretty much no chance to stay against Karen. Who is going to vote for Bruno to stay over Karen? I mean, really. So then Bruno is giving Kevin advice. He says, you know, you got to keep in mind, no one's going after Dre right now. Don't let her slide by like that. Also, uh, be aware or beware that Demica is trying to set you up to take out Jackie. Uh, and then Bruno also says, watch out because Ika always pulls in her next target before she turns on them. Like, right now, she's trying to get people to target Jackie. Last week, she was getting all close with her. So she, like, pulls them in to get info and then, you know, tells everybody that. So she's kind of like a spider, like, pulling in her prey, right? It's crazy. So then he's saying, like, you're going to be next. You're safe now. You know, the POV was used on you and she's already trying to pull you in. So watch out for that. All right. So, I mean, other than that, there's been a ton of studying today. Uh, Jackie has been leading the way a lot. Jackie has been studying with Dre a bunch. And Jackie's like going through all the days. She really knows her shit. If it's one of those competitions, she's got a really good shot at it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's just been a lot of studying. It's been kind of like a blah day. But eviction day tomorrow. Bruno is going unless something crazy happens. <laughs> Imagine there was another secret POV. Oh my god. Um, but I'm wondering, like, are they going to do like an instant eviction soon? Or like another double? Because after tomorrow's eviction there's still gonna be eight people left and only three weeks so you know <laughs> they're gonna need to get rid of some of these people I don't know but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and until tomorrow much love